Duratar is the adoptive homeland of both the Orcish clans still loyal to the Horde and Darkspear clan of trolls who hail the Horde banner in Kalimdor. The primary capital of the Horde faction, Duratar was given its name by the great war chief Thrall, who dubbed it after his father, Duratan. Duratar lies on the eastern coast of Kalimdor. It borders the Barrens to the west and the coastal lands of Ajara to the north. The land of Duratar is rocky and the soil is cracked and red, not unlike the orc's homeland of Draenor. The land has many crags and canyons where various dangerous creatures take residence. It is a harsh land to survive in with its desolate dry heat and the vegetation and freshwater access is sparse. The orcs, however, see a harsh beauty in the land that reminds them of their home world. Duratar is a proving ground for young orcs and trolls who wish to adventure across the world. In doing so, they leave behind any mercantile or city life which they can find in the scattered settlements and towns across Azeroth. These aspiring adventures are sent to the Valley of Trials to complete several rites of passage before they are considered fit for the challenges that lie ahead. They prove their strength against local wildlife and glean arcane knowledge from an alcove of the heretical demon cult, the Burning Blade, which has sprouted several sects across Durator's canyons. As the new homeland of the orcs, the site of the orcs' principal city of Orgrimmar can be found in this region. Behind these walls, the orcs find refuge from the hostile new land in which they inhabit. However, whispers of demon worship have taken root in the bellows of the city. Deep underground, the Burning Blade cult threatens the stability of the orcish way of life and the very sovereignty of Duratar. Many believe that the Warchief is aware of the Burning Blade's existence. Rumors have spread that the Warchief refuses to take action in the hopes that the cult's members might slip up and lead to higher-ranked demons. Demons who pose an even greater threat to the Orc's new home. Either way, the dark powers emanating from Ragefire Chasm could undo all that the Orcs have fought to attain and remains as a constant reminder of harsher times when the Orcish Horde hailed darker masters. The trolls of Duratar also seek refuge from troubled times, their homelands of the Echo Isles overrun by rebellious tribal leaders. The Dark Spear Clan now takes residence in Sinjin Village on the mainland. Together, the Orcs and trolls find themselves united in conflict from encroachment by a host of malicious factions. This includes centaur raiding parties, invasions of Quilbor, and even the Alliance's naval strength under direction of Kul Tiras. And while danger lurks in Duratar, the inner region has become something of a haven for all Horde races and factions. Its existence deep within the borders of Horde territory makes Duratar one of the most stable regions under the War Chief's control despite the host of enemies, from beyond and within. <laughs>